Hey, what's going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Video two of two. Happy Ash Wednesday and happy Valentine's Day. It was a really big week for me with CLNY ETF. I earned a lot of passive income with CLNY ETF. It's looking great. Remember, I switched shares with TSLY and CLNY. And it is really paying dividends. That's a pretty bad joke. But I'm going to reveal to you the total passive income for tomorrow with TSLY, NVDY, and CONY. But I'm going to do CONY because this is a huge passive income day. And I'm going to go over CONY a little bit. It looks a little bit better than TSLY. Of course, TSLY had the reverse stock split. Uh, a reverse split and uh, that didn't look too good so you know a reverse split is never good I'm just gonna be honest with you the way it's structured is um, it's on fire right now and um, I'm gonna capitalize on the passive income with CONY and I'm gonna probably be buying more of CONY so if you're new to this YouTube channel make sure you hit the notification bell after you subscribe and let's go over CONY first, then we'll check out the passive income right now. So CONY is up 14.16% since inception. At one point it was doing really well against the S&P, and then it's back to equilibrium. So if you want to say that, because it's not doing, it's not going to beat the S&P. There's a reason why I have SPLG in my IRA. So TSLY is down 50.81% for the past year. It's down $9.05. You can blame Tesla, which I'm going to blame for that situation. But the nice thing about CONY is it's doing pretty well because... Coinbase is doing pretty well. So I'm going to go over Coinbase. Now, Coinbase, since July 2021, was way down. And it's slowly getting up. In the past year, it is up 131.30%. So again, the yield max ETFs, they love to go into stocks now not actual stocks or shares of the stock but they love to be um, very volatile and the volatility can blow up in your face which has happened with tsly and they had to do a reverse split so you have to be very careful with your investments and i own a lot of shares of cony etf i'll go over that shortly but let's go to the website of the yield max ETFs and briefly discuss CONY ETF. So real quick, going to the website, the fund strategy will cap its potential gains if coin shares increase in value. The fund strategy is subject to all potential losses if coin shares decrease in value, which may not be offset by the income received by the fund. The fund may not be suitable for all investors. Volatility. I, this is There's a reason why I don't have them in my IRA, and I have uh, VGT and SPLG in my IRA because it's this is so volatile and you cannot completely rely on Coinbase because it could go up and down. Could be, you know, Coinbase could take a big hit Take a nosedive and be in trouble like TSLY. So you have to be aware with your investments. So I'm going to go over a few more things. And first off, its distribution is very aggressive. So 10-5-2023 is 120. 11 2023 it was 107. 12-6-2023, it was 246. 1-4-2024 was 269, and then 2-6-2024, 2, it was 107. So there's a little bit of volatility. There's not a lot of reliability with the passive income because I use that passive income to buy dividend stocks. So that's what I do with my 
M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. I had to pause for a second. So one more thing I want to go over. The fund overview, the yield max coin option income strategy is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling slash writing call options on coin. Remember, it's not actual shares. CONY pursues a strategy that aims to harvest compelling yields while retaining cap participation in the price games of coin. The investment objective, the fund's primary investment objective, is to seek current income. The fund's secondary investment objective is to seek exposure to the share price of the common stock of Coinbase Global, which is coin, subject to a limit on potential investment gains. So we have to be aware of that. There's a big risk. So like I said, you know, TSLY, there's a big risk. I'm not going to rely on this. Do I have the most confidence in CONY? No. Do I have a lot of confidence in TSLY? No. I do believe with TSLY, Tesla is a big problem why they had to do the reverse split. Very, very volatile. It can go up and it can go down. So you have to be aware of the risk. Now I'm going to jump to my dividend portfolio and how much I earned with CONY. Yes, and here is my dividend portfolio, the Dividendo Manifesto. I felt like changing it around a little bit. Dividend firepower is one thing I want to kind of like call it the manifestation of dividends, you know, almost like a Connor Stallions type thing. So I wanted to do that. I, I just think that manifesto that he has was uh, interesting. And I want to add dividends to it. So I want to add a little bit to that. So let me know in the comment section what you think of that. So I'm at $90,459.04. Let's jump to CONY and see how I'm doing. Now, right now, I have 334.12 shares. What I'm thinking about doing is going on E Trade, buying 100 shares of. CONY or something close to that, and then using that income from CONY to build up my portfolio on here. So again, the reliability isn't the best. I mean, the market game is $995.21. I earned a total of $359.22 in dividends, and I will show you how much I have earned with this. So as you can tell, I just kind of revealed that to you. I made $359.22, which I threw into my dividend portfolio. So this one is a unique. I, this is kind of like video two over two, um, or two of two. And I wanted to be a little bit of... Because of the reverse split that happened, I wanted to go over that first and then do a second video um, for CONY. So I wanted you guys to check that out. And it was a it was a good month it, for CONY. So that passive income for CONY bought me some really good dividend growth stocks on um, on that day. So I mean, I can't complain because I throw two fifty a week into my dividend portfolio. I'm trying to pay off student loans and a little bit of debt on the side. I'm not too worried about that. The travel nursing and a little bit of the PRN um, working should help out and compensate that. Um, again, I have to study for boards. And after today for Valentine's Day, I'm actually not going to drink because I want to slim down. And um, I have business to focus on. I have a lot of collaborations. I actually have one tomorrow with someone early in the morning and I really want to focus on my channel. This is 2024. I wanted to focus on my channel, focus on um, the social media aspect on X. You know where to find me, Darth Dividend 23 on X. You should add me. Thinking about having a private group just for subscribers on X. So that might be a, sec a thing that I have an, an idea for. And I also want to maybe do spaces on X specifically for YouTube subscribers and followers, um, that's one thing that I have in mind. So, you know, make sure you follow my videos. Make sure you comment in the comment section, like my videos. Um, things are going really well with this. 
And um, behind the scenes, I'm hopefully going to reveal to you s certain things that uh, there's a little bit of a war going on. Um, I kind of gave you a hint already, but um, things look pretty well. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a trademark war that I'm fighting for. So um, I just want to be clear with that. That's the behind the scenes right now with what's going on. And um, I I'm just very excited to see coin or uh, CLNY um, build my dividend portfolio and buy dividend growth stocks. So it's going to get to the point where I'm not going to even, you know, their, their income is great, but my dividend growth stocks are going to overpower the yield max ETFs. That's the goal. That's the manifesto. The dividend growth stocks will overpower the monthly dividend stocks. The Agree Realty Corporation is taking over. Starbucks is taking over. I've considered buying United Health and Visa to take over. NVIDIA. I, I want this passive income to buy this. You know, I'm probably going to retire in my 60s. I'm just being honest with you. Um, I think it would be better for me to do that. That way I can get some social security. That way I can do some other stuff. My investments, you know, will build up. Um, I'll have a lot of stuff going on, you know, with passive income with that. So, you know, I don't see myself retiring in my 50s. I, I just don't. But... The income from this will help. And honestly, I, I, I'm very excited. It's, um, you know, I'm not giving financial advice, but people who are watching this video are know that there's an extra way to earn money and have a retirement pension. And I'm very transparent with my buys, how much I'm making, how much I'm throwing in, why I did travel nursing. Okay, I literally... In 2023, threw 500 bucks a week into my portfolio, even more sometimes. So now I can focus on individual dividend stocks. Soon, it's part of the manifesto, the dividend, the dividendo manifesto for phase two is starting to buy individual stocks and using monthly dividend stocks. I'm not there yet the monthly dividend income for phase two where i can use that income just to take over and then the individual stocks okay the the um individual dividend stocks can buy the dividend growth stock so i'm not even at phase um two yet i'm getting there probably by the end of this year phase two of the manifesto will begin so if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I will have a video for you tomorrow revealing the total dividend income with TSLY, NVDY, and CONY and what it bought me because it's very exciting to see a turbocharged dividend portfolio based on the yield max ETF passive income. So take care and have a good one and I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. As a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am not giving financial advice. It is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor or somebody certified to give financial advice. This, I'm very transparent with my buys. And I just want you to be aware of there's always a risk when it comes to investing. You can gain money, you can lose money. So you have to do your due diligence and do your research when you buy stocks. When you um, get investment advice from a financial advisor, that's the best way to do things, as well as a tax advisor. I mean, this is Don't use this for tax advice or tax purposes. Um, find somebody else to do that. I mean, I have a, I have a advisor and tax advisor to do things, you know, from my, my own standpoint. So the best thing to do is always... Always realize anything you invest in and when you invest, okay, you can you can lose money. I mean, I just posted a video over that. So be aware of the risk. Do your due diligence. Do your research. And, um, you know, don't buy stocks because I buy them or ETFs because I buy them. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just showing you my rationales 
in my journey it's almost like a video log of what I buy so I'm just being very transparent this video this channel is free for you so you know it's uh, but I'm excited to show you my passive income journey so take care and have a great Wednesday